Hey guys, it's Shane with Tech Fanatics, and I'm doing a quick video here on how to change a power supply right here. Um, this is a pretty simple video, but I figured I'd show you guys just so you'd know. Uh, there's nothing to it, so here, here's what we're going to do. Um, you can see all these cables are hooked up. Now, um, now I've already purchased my new power supply. It's nicely bundled up here as you can see. This is an 850 watt power supply. This is my gaming machine. This case is actually stupid huge and I had a hard time finding a place where I could do this video. So I'm, I'm in my office. It's a little cramped in here. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to do this. You can see uh, how big my video card is. It's um, it's massive. This whole thing is just a massive case. Um, it's got quite a bit of power. You can see it's got a couple hard drives, disk reader, uh, this is an SD card reader and uh, various other things. So uh, we'll get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is unplug all the stuff. So depending on what kind of power supply you have, you may or may not have all these same connections. But whatever you do have, you'll want to get disconnected. And I'm going to try to do this without bumping the camera too much. So we'll just unplug everything that the power supply is hooked to. Now, if you've built your own computer, you pretty well know what all the power supply is hooked to. If you didn't and you're just trying to replace it to save a few bucks, don't worry, it's pretty simple. Um, there's just a bunch of connections. Now, mine has a bunch more connections than yours might if you have just a plain standard um, power supply and computer. If you have like a basic model that doesn't have all the fancy equipment, you're not going to have as many plugs to take off. Now if you do have a fancy gaming machine, chances are you'll have quite a few different plugs you're going to have to unplug and get out of the way. So we're just going to pile all this over there. Looks like I got one more plug here. And looks like another one's running this way. Okay, I believe that is all the cables. So now I'm completely disconnected. Um, so now it comes the easy part. I'm going to have to change camera views to show you guys how to take the actual power supply out of the case and put the new one in, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, now you can see my power supply here. Uh, you can't hardly... Okay guys, so uh, the lighting is not perfect for this situation, but here we are, and I just bumped the camera. Um, but you can see these four screws here, hopefully on the video you can. There. Uh, and I'm just going to simply s unscrew them here. Let me adjust my screwdriver to do the right way here. Now you want to save these screws because the new power supply may not come with them. Mine did not come with new screws, so I'm going to have to reuse my old ones. So I don't recommend, if you're going to build a computer, you want to make sure that you can find out whether those screws come with it or not, because you'll need these screws to attach it. Some power supplies come with them, some don't. And like I said before, this is my gaming machine. This is a very large case to accommodate a large video card. Um, for the intense graphics. So that's all we do right there. Now this thing will slide out. I say that. Oh. There I am bumping the camera. I apologize guys. Okay, 
should be able to just slide right out here. go it actually kind of recesses in there now you can see guys the empty hole where my old power supply was now we're going to place the new one in and for this I prefer to go ahead and leave this all tied up together for the moment it'll just help get everything in there I also prefer that uh, to get the mesh covered wires. It really cleans up your case. Uh, this case has a uh, uh, the the side is a complete clear on the side, or it has a large clear phantom, so you can actually see into the computer, and uh, this just helps tidy it up. Okay, so now we're simply just gonna put the screws right back in it if I can get them started here trying to do this in front of a camera is not as easy as it would sound Try to get this snap back into place, guys. It would appear here that there are, this is a little bit different size power supply, but there we are, we have snapped into place. One of the things about this particular case is everything snaps into place and you don't even use screws to hold the hard drives and things. You can actually snap them into place without screws, if I remember correctly. Um, same way with this, it doesn't technically need screws because it's not going to go anywhere. There we go, got started and was able to tighten. And like I said before, it's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing because of the way I have the camera set up and the lights aren't perfect in here for this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like I said, I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing here. But you guys get the idea here of how to do this. Okay, so we'll worry about that later. That's, uh, you know that you'll have to put all the screws back in. So now we're going to readjust the camera one more time. Okay guys, so now that we're all hooked we're all back to where we need to be we'll go ahead and hook everything back up and uh i'm not going to actually show all this because it's going to take me some time to get everything plugged in and route the cables correctly you guys get the idea it's pretty simple it's easy uh replacing your power supply will probably take from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes 20 minutes if you have a lot of connections inside the box so that's it for this video if you have any other questions or if you can't figure out where your stuff hooks up on your power supply feel free to comment below and i'll help you